Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mercedes-Benz at CES 2019. My name is Katie Linnendahl, and like many of you, I have an entire career, degree, and fascination in technology. And I'm excited to be leading the conversation today with Mercedes-Benz on the future of automotive tech. This isn't the first announcement taking place in the booth today. It's actually been chock full of very exciting news. And as you can see right to my right, the team just unveiled the beautiful new CLA. And now following that world premiere, we're going to dive into my favorite topic, the tech side. Mercedes-Benz, as you probably know, invented the first car more than 130 years ago. And certainly, we've come a long way since Carl Benz innovation. And we fast forward, I think we can all agree, in the last few years alone, auto tech has grown exponentially. And we've seen that in parallel with the auto presence growing here at CES. And whether you're an auto expert or a consumer, you're undeniably seeing these key mega trends sweeping across the auto sector from individualization to sustainability. And new innovations are catering to these trends. But on the flip side, we also have the things that cause pause. Traffic is getting worse. People are concerned about robots taking over the pedals. And we're all concerned about sustainability. So you might be wondering, how does a global player like Mercedes-Benz respond to this? How do they keep the DNA of the company that invented the car, as I noted, 130 years ago, while also stepping into new fields of innovation? Well, that's what we're going to find out in the next 20 minutes. Please welcome to the stage, without further ado, Executive Vice President Mercedes-Benz, Sajad Khan. Quite the audience here. Great. <laughs> I mean, it's always good to be at CES because, I mean, you have a technology over here. Yes. You have a technology experts, and you can talk about the topics which are really lies on our heart and to share with some of the people who really understand the in-depth of the technology as well as they can also connect the dots in the future. So you it's are no really stranger fun to, be here. to CES. Many, many years for this man right here. But as I noted, we're talking some of these key mega trends, and whether it's the, t the tech side of things or the auto tech side of things, how do you see these mega trends affecting your role as such a global player in the auto sector? I mean, if you look at the whole technology and the mega trends at the moment, I mean, whether it's an urbanization part of it or it's the way that people are interacting with different kind of uh, like uh, technologies or different kind of a behavior like the sharing and all those kind of things. In all those things, the transportation industry as well as our own industry, like for the cars and everything, we are trying to answer that from our perspective in a way that okay, it is very intuitive for our customers. It's very natural for them. And we are trying to do it in a way, just like you saw in the morning, this CLA which we presented over here, that the customers have the feeling that they are capturing all those new mega trends while having this product from Mercedes-Benz. So if you look at this one, for example, we have launched this card now. We announced uh, beginning of the 2018 MBUX, Mercedes-Benz user experience, and which is all together, it's a so intuitive system and it's such a, artificial intelligence-based system that the customer doesn't have to learn anything. We launched in seven different vehicles already in 2018, and we will be launching the same thing now in another nine derivatives in the 2019. So this is our answer, some kind of a very incorporated, natural way of bringing a product to the customer to answer all the mega trends which are coming at the moment. You alluded to MBUX, and you can actually experience it in some of the platforms that you have right here at the booth. But can you dive in a little further? Because this is something that you guys are incredibly proud of. And it's very unique in terms yeah. of just the technology in itself. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the in-depth perception, the number one thing is that okay, if you look at the MBUX, it connects you very well to the ecosystem you have around yours. For example, if you would like to have something which is like the Google Home or Alexa and all that kind of a thing. So you are very well connected through your IoT devices with this kind of a system, excellently, which is available in all these uh, vehicles. Plus, you can also see that, okay, for example, if you look at the trend sharing, then on the sharing side of it, that you can also, with this vehicle and all these products which are having the MBUX, you can share this product within your family and the friends with a click of a simple app system where you can have a product when we are not using it, and you can share it together with your family and friends. And you know what? To make it more simple that how you can do that, we have created a simple movie, and now Let's have a look at the movie to see that how you can share this product together with your family and friends. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. You might not share the same taste. 
you might not have the same daily routines. Ouch. Rough night, huh? Good morning, everybody. You might want to share everything. Mmm. Hashtag yummy. What's up? Or you might not want to share everything with everybody. That's all right. But there's one thing you can now share quite easily. Just request it. Does anyone need the car? No. Nope. No. Accept it. Go get it. You don't have to own it to make it your own. Car sharing with the new Mercedes-Benz user experience. I like watching that video a second time, too, because it reminds me, every year at CES, and I'm sure for many of you, too, this, you've been here many, many times, and for me, it's the practical, useful technologies that are the difference makers. So it's making it intuitive but easy for consumers is, I think, the ultimate goal with that snapshot. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the main purpose of that thing is that, okay, how you bring this technology to the customer in a way that the customer doesn't have to learn something about it. That it means even if it's a machine learning base, it's an AI base, it learns your behavior, it's connect your vehicle completely to the cloud, and based on that one, in this MBUX system, that okay, it interacts on that one. And it does not limit itself only on that one. For example, for the driver assistance systems also, on the autonomous driving, also, it also provides you some kind of a, a support while driving. That okay, you can have an accident-free driving, and you can also have some kind of a less fatigue when you are coming out of the car, and it supports you excellently while driving that kind of a thing. And in the autonomous side, if you look at it, we are following that on the two different tracks. One, we are trying to do that in an incremental way to make sure that incrementally the things are developing further. That means you have every year some kind of a thing is coming. So you have a more advanced driver assistance system. And on the other side, for the level four and five of the autonomous driving, we are also working on. So in this kind of a product, which you see over here, you already see the taste of the full autonomous, which is going to be coming down the road. And you can also still enjoy all the connectivity and the other digitalization kind of a trends which are happening at the moment out in the market. I'm going to put you on the spot for a second, but I think people would genuinely be interested to hear how you personally feel about autonomous. Are you excited for it? Are you nervous for it? No. I mean, this is the best time of the humanity we all are living in. I mean, this is a time where the, we have now the technology available. We have the hardworking people available out in the market who would really like to bring ourselves to a completely different level. So we have had invented the, the car 130 years ago, where we brought the humanity from the horse carriages to the cars. And now with the technology and everything which is available to us as a humanity also, we at the Mercedes-Benz are trying to put together all those ingredients in such a way that we could have a complete new product and you can have an intelligent driver available as the form of technology in the vehicle which the customer would never even perceive and see but will just enjoy the added value while enjoying this product. I want to segue, because you chatted a little bit about A-Class and CLA. How do these fit into what we're deeming as the mega trends? Uh, I mean, if you look at the mega trends at the moment, for example, we have put the whole thing behind that thing and under a strategy, we call it a case strategy. In, in the case strategy, for example, the C stands for connectivity, A for autonomous, S for shared, E for electrification. For these four words, what we are trying to do is that okay, we are making sure that okay, there is nothing in the trends which could be left behind, and we are taking all those trends together, and we are putting those things in an answer in the technology, while it's still we're making sure that the customer doesn't have the feeling that okay, how they are interacting together with each other. So under the word of the case, we are offering all these mega trends as an answer. It'd be interesting now to move forward and talk about an important topic, of course, in the auto world, all things sustainability and your approach to that. Yeah. I mean, sustainability could be looked from different perspectives. I mean, one of the perspectives is, for example, that okay, how the sustainability is going uh, in the form of the AI or how it is going in the form of a sharing. But let me shed a few words on how the, we look at the sustainability from the CO2 perspective and from the electrification perspective. I mean, we have a huge commitment on that one. For example, on the electrification side, 
we will be investing in the next few years more than 20 billion euros uh, only on the battery domain, uh, just to make sure that, OK, we capture everything which is required over there for this technology and to bring it forward. In the same way, we will be launching in the next uh, uh, EQC vehicle, which is also shown over here, which we are launching this year, and we will be giving in the hands of the customer. This is the first pure EV vehicle which is coming, and it will have the CNET has tested it. And I mean, they have already said that, okay, in their test, uh, when they drove uh, from our Sunnyvale office around the coastline, when they came back, they had like a more than 228 miles uh, on the drive, and still a lot of battery was left uh, in the vehicle. So uh, this is the first product, and we will be launching around more than 130 different derivatives uh, in the next years to come. So this is one of the other areas from the sustainability perspective. And we believe that up to 2024, 2025, we're going to be moving in our whole fleet of the cars, which we are selling per annum. We're going to be between 15 and 25% of our vehicles. They will be pure EV based. So our commitment towards sustainability, if you look at the numbers, 20 billion investment in the battery. We already have started the products from this year onward. Plus, we are also making sure that, okay, from 15 to 25%, uh, at, depending upon the market pull also, that, okay, we will be in the 2025. I think this is our answer to the sustainability. You touched on it a little bit in terms of the timeline, but just standing here as a journalist, I have to say, you know, there's competition already out there in terms of other vehicles, How, what does the immediate outlook like, look like in terms of your future? I mean, the, in, in terms of the very close, uh, if you look at that thing, the most important thing is that, okay, how do you make sure that okay, you bring all those things together in a way, together with a few partners out there, that you can execute this thing in a way that okay, you have really the product also out there. One thing is just to say, I have an idea, I have a projection, and I have an, some kind of a strategy how to do it, and the other part of the whole game is how to execute it, to get it done, and to deliver the right product to the market. So this is where we are working at the moment with a few partners out there in the market. For example, in this case, you can see with the NVIDIA. We have had started beginning of 2017. I was over here with the Justin Huang, and we have had presented that, okay, what we're going to be working on, uh, which we did not say at that time, MBUX. And then in 2018, January, just 12 months ago, we, present, we presented a product, which is the MBUX, and which is already out there now in uh, seven different uh, vehicles, and in nine different vehicles are coming this year. Uh, in the same way, we are working on total other different technology also, together with the NVIDIA, to make sure that, okay, how can we make th use this technology of the artificial intelligence and the computational pow power which the NVIDIA is bringing into our products that we can lead the way of the mega trends and have a great answer for our customers. We're going to go to partners in a little bit. And speaking of NVIDIA, stay tuned. But in terms of, you, you, you gave a amazing milestones and projections. And a t there's got to be a lot of back end strategy happening behind the scenes. And also, just in terms of the challenges, the biggest ones that you're facing, looking forward to your innovation, is there anything you want to add there? I think the main thing is uh, that you okay, want to identify the different trends. And we could say the different trends could be answered through the way of the connectivity or autonomous of electrification and all that. But the more important thing is that okay, how do you combine the dots together? And how do you make sure that okay, they all, if you are driving electric, what does it mean at that point in time for the autonomous driving? How can you support your electrification kind of a range of the car? by using more autonomous, and how can you make use of the cloud, which is coming from the connectivity side, to make sure that, okay, the customer doesn't have to hassle with that thing if only few kilometers, a few miles are left on the battery, is still to reach those kind of uh, destinations, and to make sure that okay, all these dots are connected together. And on all those things, as I mentioned before, on one domain was the infotainment experience, where we have had started with NVIDIA to work on it. And we have launched a great product uh, as MBUX. In the second domain, we have already also announced this is the autonomous driving. In the autonomous driving area also, we are working on that one together with NVIDIA to make sure that okay, we, we go forward on that. Without further ado, I think we should maybe bring a key player from NVIDIA up to stage. What do you say? Absolutely. Why not? Jensen. Jensen Huang, CEO and President of NVIDIA. Hi, everybody. 
See, at CES, Happy you get all the amazing power players. Welcome to the stage. Thank you. <laughs> it's great to be here. It's cool to have this conversation. I feel kind of like the third wheel because you guys have had a relationship over the years and a fruitful You're one. You're welcome anytime. One. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> this relationship was started a few years ago and it's been successful. If you can maybe just chat to that and how it's gone so far and yeah. what that next big wave is. Yeah. Uh, Sajad and I uh, have been working together for several years now, and, and as I think he mentioned just earlier, we've partnered on two very important initiatives so far. One is defining the user experience inside the car, and the second is using artificial intelligence technology and high-performance computing platforms to create the autonomous car. Um, our, our relationship goes back several years, and, and our um, engineering teams work super closely together. Now, we're announcing a brand new partnership going forward about the architecting the future car um, and the computer that defines the future of autonomous vehicles, the future of AI, and the future of mobility. We're standing here at this exceptional booth, but I also look around and there's so much competition. And I ask you, Jensen, why choose Mercedes and why continue that relationship? What stands out about the brand? Be nice, Sajad's right there. Well, you know, it's <laughs> to, to be honest, uh, you know, we're, we're a partner to Sajad. He chooses us. And so, well so it's a great honor. It's a great honor to be here on stage with him. This is, this is frankly, uh, uh, hallowed ground. I mean, this is, this is uh, uh, one of the greatest car companies in the world, invented the car. And, and um, uh, look, at, look at what they've done for the automotive industry so far. Uh, the thing that's, that's really fantastic about Mercedes, not only are they traditioned, um, not only do they have great heritage, they also are forward-leaning in their thinking about technology. And one of the things that they really understand, and particularly Sajjan and his engineering team, they realize that the future car has to be a software-defined car. That it has to start from the user experience, start from software, and think about what kind of computer architecture is essential that can run that software and deliver that experience. And when you think about it from that perspective, the idea of 25, 50 ECUs inside a car, inside a car with all these dedicated functionality, um, that's, just, that's just not, that's not possible going forward. And so the way that Sajad is thinking about it, and, and I'm delighted to architect it with him, is a future car computer that unifies mm. all of these little tiny widgety microcontrollers and little computers into a supercomputer, if you will, that runs all of the artificial intelligence agents inside the cockpit for the user experience, and then, of course, outside the car for autonomous driving. And so that, that forward-thinking approach was really essential to the, the uh, uh, driving and pulling this partnership together. And we've been working on this architecture now for some time, and uh, you know, neither, neither, neither of us could wait to show it to you. Talk about heritage, too. NVIDIA is right there. And did you ever think that we'd be standing here on a stage talking about this in-vehicle partnership and where we're at with auto tech? I mean, it's pretty profound. Well, NVIDIA is 25 years old. But in terms of the background and technology yeah. and bringing that to this platform, I think it's standout. Yeah, it's, it, there's no question it's shocking to me as well. If you, if you think about where we, what we do for a living today, we power the vast majority of the world's artificial intelligence. We're in supercomputers, the fastest supercomputer in the world. We're in cloud data centers all over the world. Researchers use our technology to invent and to run artificial intelligence. And the idea that we're going to be able to take technology uh, created for supercomputers, miniaturize it, and create future cars that are more powerful right. than today's data centers, that's a, that's a really exciting prospect. And uh, there, there's no way that 25 years ago, when I started the company when I was just a kid, uh, that, that, uh, th that I would have thought we'd be standing here today with Sajad and Mercedes. Sajad, something to add there. I know you're itching. I mean, it, it's, it's a very exciting thing to work upon. As I mentioned before also, that again, now we as a humanity also have the technology. And uh, we have as a, at Mercedes, I think we have the partners like NVIDIA and the Jensen that we can rely on. They, have, they are together with us in all the hurdles we have had before. And the, the, to execute everything down the road, it's not going to be easy. But our, the competence with the NVIDIA and brings to us in that game, from the computation side, from the artificial intelligence side, and all different kind of a software domain. 
this is what we need as an automotive company in that grade that okay, we could say, okay, we can really deliver what we aspire for. I mean, aspiration is kind of a one way, but to deliver on those aspirations, and we have seen it together with the NVIDIA that we delivered the MBUX, we are incrementally working at the moment on the autonomous driving also, and now to work on this kind of architectural thing, that means you are actually putting a question on the whole electric, electronic, and software architecture in the vehicle from the car to the cloud that you are just redefining complete thing completely new. And then you need a partner whom I can rely on, whom I can work with. And there we are very excited at the moment that, okay, to say that okay, the Jensen is there together with NVIDIA to assist us in, in delivering that aspirations which we have been working on for the last couple of years. You know, imagine, imagine this computer that we're building. We're building this car computer and we're architecting it now. And, and of course, we can't share the details with you. I know we can't wait to share it with you. However, could you imagine you're in this car, and this car is literally aware of you in every way? Just like a person in the car with you, literally aware of you in every way, recognizes, recognizes what you are doing, recognizes what you want to do, contextually aware of all the situations around you. The car is so intensely aware of its surroundings. It's able to recognize everything around it. It's able to figure out where it is in the world, drive, predict where all of the other agents around the car are going to be and avoid them. To, you know, this car computer is going to do things that no computer that exists today literally does. And so th the fact that we're going to architect this, put it into a car, and put it in the hands of consumers all over the world is really just super exciting. I'm putting you on the spot a bit, but this is coming full circle to your point on case, can you bring it back and, and close the loop? You're touching on some of the features, but the, your, your whole projection in terms of making case the, the, the center point of everything Mercedes does moving forward, correct? That's right. I mean, and this is what you can now, I mean, you can make the summary out of it that, okay, where you could say that, okay, if you look at the case that, okay, you have the uh, connectivity domain, you have the autonomous domain, you have the shared, you have the electrification, but you need a platform below it to connect all the dots. This is the platform which we are mentioning at the moment that we are working together with the NVIDIA to support all these domains and all these mega trends to make sure that okay, they are powered by the right computational technology as well as by the right software technologies which are available out there. And to make sure that okay, we have a product which is very harmonized and in a very nice way. And you know what? We have created a short video in the form of a dream which I could show you to say how our dream gonna look like. Though we're gonna be showing together next year again something on that thing, how that end product gonna look like. But this is, I would leave it over here as a little bit of a secret for the next year. But let's have a look at the video as a dream. Let's do it. Sometimes at night, my dreams about the future seem so real. I'm dreaming of other dimensions where things are becoming intelligent and connecting with each other to make our lives easier, smarter, and more entertaining. I'm dreaming of cars that are driving on their own so that I can do whatever I want while traveling safely. In my dreams, I like to share everything with my family and friends. Our adventures are so fascinating. It's not about the car anymore. It's about everything. I'm dreaming of silent streets at night, feeling the fresh air and the wind. A beautiful experience. I think my dreams can become reality and change the world. And if your dreams are feeling as real as mine, maybe it's time for us to realize that See us we are not dreaming anymore. Strong emotional way to end the presentation, would you agree? Absolutely, Fantastic. absolutely. I mean, this is how we would like to touch the emotions of our customers, bring an added value together with our partners, and we are extremely proud of that. Sajad, Jensen, let's give them a round of applause. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Stay tuned for more news and updates right here from Mercedes-Benz at CES 2019. And thank all of you for your attendance. Have a great rest of the evening. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.